it's Amy Newmark, and we're talking about advice today. Have a few words of wisdom ever changed everything for you? Has a piece of advice from a friend or even a stranger opened your eyes? We ask people to send us stories about the one best piece of advice that redirected them or solved a problem for them, and we got thousands of submissions. Now we're presenting an amazing new collection of stories with the power to change your life too. Sometimes that advice involves something that seems really small and inconsequential, but really has deep meaning. Diane Peroni wrote about a plaque that she saw at a store that said, life is uncertain, eat dessert first. She didn't think much of it until later when she was going through a tough time financially. But then when people invited her out for meals, Diane found herself ordering dessert first as a way of celebrating the little things in life. And that became a tradition for her, something she does with her friends and family every time she goes out, even now that things are back on track for her. Here she is, the smiling lady on the right, with her sister having dessert first. Diane says the message is not really about eating sweets. Eating dessert first is about connecting with those we love, listening with our hearts, and sharing the things we've learned. Eating dessert first is about spontaneity and not taking ourselves too seriously. It's about embracing change and living in the moment. Okay, now what about the bigger decisions in life? J.C. Sullivan wrote about one of the best pieces of advice I've ever heard. She was complaining to her brother about how much she hated her job as a banker. And her brother said, imagine that you just won the lottery. What would be the first thing you'd do? Well, that question gave J.C. clarity. She knew what she wanted to do. She saved her money, quit her job, and moved to Italy. She's been pursuing her passions and traveling the world, trying new things ever since. Sometimes the best advice comes in the form of a few words that help you be a better person. Nancy Kennedy never forgot the words she heard Deirdre Sullivan say on an NPR radio show, always go to the funeral. Nancy said that to herself whenever she knew she should do something for someone else, even when she didn't really want to. She says, to me, always go to the funeral means doing that thing you don't want to do when that inner voice nudges you to act. Always write the note, always make the phone call, always extend a kind word, always offer up a listening ear, always be a friend. And speaking of friends, here's one more useful piece of advice that I want to share from our new book. Elaine Jolly's boyfriend told her this, when things go wrong in your life, always take a look at your inner circle. Take a hard look at the people you are allowing to influence your life. Ask yourself if they are a positive influence or a negative one. Now Elaine says, I strive each day to keep my inner circle full of people who are going to lift me up or keep me humble. I feel that way about our books. It's like we've created an inner circle of friends for you. People who are sharing their best advice to lift you up and help you thrive. I know that working on this book changed me and I'm sure you'll find advice in these pages that will make a big difference to you as well. It's amazing how just a few well-chosen words can completely change the direction of your life.